Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LPL matchup. Pushing bot lane, they need these dragons stacking up for Croco on the Shivana. True, will be able yeah. to get this one as well. Yeah, that Shivana has a passive, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> a little extra, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, it, it's going to be curious. There's also the, the question of Grubs coming up. Uh, we've already gotten out. Ooh, Ooh. good satchel. Really good satchel. Now, Kyle might just have to give his life here. You cannot have this 2v2 go down like this. You already said how lethal Gala can be on the Ziggs. They're looking for first, and that's first blood for LNG. It seems the legends have fallen prey to but, the uh, chill. It really was just like the farm through counter jungle style way back then as well. Your clear speed has always been one of the best things of that Shivana jungle. Sometimes your sticking power can struggle. Looks like he is going towards that Shoujin first item, have a bit more of that HP, and of course, huge amount of stacking percent damage, all up through the oh, wall, it's the team! Delivery service as the depth charge comes through, and he has so much CC onto him, Zika is gonna get that second kill for LNG. At the exit point, the same point, but still, good combo, cost sucker is flash, but he gets himself a kill. Arrow pulled out by Hope. They want to try to get this dragon. Oh, no, they want the fights here. Croco try to get his raid bar up there. They already take way, way down. There is no jungler available, and Croco He's looking to secure a second dragon, stacking up some of that armor and magic resist. Yeah, Kroko gets himself some big value there. Gets himself uh, a kill participation, gets himself that dragon, and of course uh, he's going to go right the way back to farming as well, getting himself up. We're going to have stash. Grub again. Better get the doors shut, the windows locked, everything good to go, because it doesn't seem like anyone's legend, if they are behind, are going to have much success. They need to have some sort All of that. Wow. Uh-oh. That's so not mean. great. Yeah, that's, that's very rude. Uh, it is all the dragons so far by anyone's legend, but all the top side objectives by Dragon's LNG. Descent pop. They need to try to get as much push with that as possible. Oh, Speaking damn. of push, Rift Herald takes that stand gold for LNG. Will be responded to on the top side, but another charge going to come through, and that's a Ziggs, baby. You're just waiting for that satchel charge, and that's a huge tier two to LNG. Take full advantage of the map play, and this has been the biggest difference i feel like by anyone's legend is their decision making used to be against pretty top esports in full form took a game off of them lng when they get access to towers are one of the best teams in the lpl and this is one of the reasons why they've been so impactful they now take those towers go back towards the dragon they haven't spent their gold but they Wait might not way. need to He's in a little bit of trouble. He's going to pop the little thing lullaby. Here comes the combo there. Straight on to Croco. Uh, Ala has come in. He's by himself. Now Kyle coming over to the side. Now Kyle by himself. Culling going through. They've got the damage there from Shanks. Shanks dashing forward. Scout getting low, but the all-out comes through. Over onto him. Now Scout trying to find the play. Almost dies himself. Zika dash into safety, but it's not going to be safe for long. Allah was looking for the counter-strike. Hope coming on the side. Now Kyle sacrifices his life, and Gala comes up with the kill. And Gala has been the main name. We've said time and time again in this game one. So it's not the best fight from LNG because they hadn't spent their gold from that, that tower take, which is great. Broken in these fights. Dragon started up again. Yeah. The picture, but LNG get themselves still a decent fight. They've spent all their gold now, and it's uh, going to get worse from here. All right, Croco showing off some strength against Scout up there. But again, then you see how much damage that does. Uh, you see what well, happens if you walk away with the series. They're still top two. But yeah, they're not they're not a perfect team within the LPL. In fact, that's going to be old from Croco. I really want to just start putting some damage down. I mean, you can. You're a big wow. old dragon. Why not? You're just walking under turret. Gala is down. That was a shutdown. And Croco showing the strength of the dragon's roar. Well, we said we needed we needed uh, Croco to find some, you know, big picks. Oh, Scout, that's a little deep. He's trying to get in there, get some more damage down. Ends up going back, losing a majority of his 30 awful. minutes or so. Anyone's legend had replaced their engine with a dragon. Uh, it's, it's looking go really again. good, but Croco go needs He's to have again. a good moment. There's the enchant crystal arrow. There's the combo, and dragon's eating good tonight. Croco with another one. Yeah, um, someone's not playing against the Shivana that much. Golly, you're not safe to push up there. Should be to be playing. I mean, he's even playing on max Q range, standing on the top side of the lane. He's still not safe. Now, suddenly, with the, the Leandris burning on the uh, Baron as well, they're going to try and take it. They can keep the rage up here. Croco can keep his form and use these E's to do massive damage. It's going to be the Baron at 2150, and it goes the way of anyone's legend. Here comes the combo. The Dragon's form is going to drop here. You still have a lot of fighting strength. All Out comes out from Zika, separating the fight a little bit. LNG, they're trying to pick off the remaining members. Now, this is all his time to shine. Flashes for the Counter-Strike into AL. They have just unlocked their legendary status. Here comes Scout trying to get the outplay, but he's all by himself again. Now, Hung, he's going to have to flash out the other side. Got he might be the man of the hour. He's going to lock down Hope, but the lollipop not going to connect. AL, come out fighting Zika. Oh, he TP'd by, but he's by himself. 
and he's just gonna be picked out. He is a Cassante, but there is not enough time in the world. And Ala picks up another one. 4,000 damage done. And now the dragon is spotting in about 45 seconds. And the Alpha's 2019, and Crocker has his ult again. Uh, he's gonna swap the Hex Flash maybe over the wall. He was wondering whether he was going into that brush, but because Hung goes backwards, he will be unknown to his fight. It's just so cool to see anyone's legend playing around these carries, right? Like, they, they drafted yeah, no, the... Um, LNG, uh, we were saying, hey, they've just beaten um, all of these top teams. They're 6-1. and one. Is this another fight in the mid lane? It's another fight from Croco. Croco's ramping up. That flame breath could be doing a lot. Look, he doesn't even have to hit you with it. It just has to hit around you. Cullen going over on the Hung, but Kyle is down now. Croco's still trying to make his way out. Hung is not going to go down. Wait, wait. Showing the difference here. He's going to get the flash out of... Oh! He does it actually get the damage proc there in the end. And uh, Croco will make it away. Wait, wait. Tries to get the sneaky play there. The whole time, all has been pushed into the side lane with the Baron buff. From the Blooming Blows, getting a lot of value here. Almost taking down Croco. That would have been a big scalp to claim. And I think it's also... Oh, okay. Well, we don't even get time. And Chanticleer Sarah locks down Scout. He gets picked. And it's actually a big amount of gold going to Croco in the end. I think 500 there. Croco keeps getting more fed. I guess this Shimada is just OP. Feed the dragon. Uh, feed the dragon. Feed the dragon. Yeah, they're doing that. I know, mean, already three dragons up as well, so it's an extra bunch of resist coming through. It's uh, five armor and magic resist per stack, so it's an extra 15, which is all right when you've got a load of HP. It'll help you be a bit more survivable. And it gets them closer towards that soul as well. Croco is just so fab. You spot the soul unbound, and um, he goes back into a bit of a dangerous spot there after that That's point. Here recently, at least. As now they're actually collapsing. Uh, where have we seen this before? Nymera. Oh, it's going to hit on no. him. We've seen this time and time again. And this is how LNG loses games. We have Crypt Bloom third item completed for Croco. He's this also going to the way the AL have lost their games recently is because their jungle support's been blown out. Their early games have been blown out before they can do anything. Croco, huge game from him. Three items on the Shivana, which is a match just yet. That's why they're not forcing as hard as they were before. They find an isolated target. Fantastic. Force very, very well. But they don't want to take just a straight 5v5. If they don't manage to catch uh, Gala, Gala manages to no, they can do because they have themselves. I mean, Shauna always has good camp speed. Again, going on to that it. dragon. Again, doing it again because they have the extra dragons, has the extra resists as well, which makes it a little easier to tank. Has that dragon's descent. We might get ourselves a full team fight for the first time. Kyle can't be the one getting chunked early there. Baron gone down. This is another one for anyone's legend. Ala tries to go over to Gala. Big flash, though. Look at it on the other side. The Weiwei was looking for a little lullaby in the pit, though. Croco's going down. 600 smackaroos go over. Now we're getting trades back. Anyone's legend repositioning on the left side of the fight. Kyle still full health. He can go forward. We're about to get the TP back in by Shanks. They want to keep the fight going. They want to keep the fight here with LNG. Here comes Scout, though. Zika is fighting the pickup. Ala almost gets him, too. Scout has comes in the saving hero for LNG as Kyle he's still there Ola he can't get the combo with the counter strike and Lynn scout he's there he's getting the damage down he can't do it though Ola the counter strike comes back up and scout is left wanting Ola comes out with a 6,000 hammer down Anyone's legend get the Baron and they get the fight. LNG, they double down on their losses as they try to claim some of those Baron buffs back, trying to make sure that AL can't use them. And they just double down. They were waiting for the 5v5 and they can't execute. Now AL will get themselves well and truly. And, and right now, um, so what you're doing with the Shivana build is getting as many percent damage increases from your kit as possible. You get 25% when Shojin's fully stacked. You get 6% of the Oh, Don't they want him. He's going to take damage now. They actually take a Fate Sealed in. They're going to get the Enchanted Crystal Arrow. Croco is still alive, still kicking. Zika going to take him out again. He's the Dragon Slayer of LNG, and he might be cosplaying here. There's the Death Charge going to hope they get the lockdown. This is what LNG want. They're in the choke point, though. You got to be careful. Zika going deep. All is still there. The fight, but Scout is coming. I'm back for revenge. Allah, all by himself. Shanks trying to fight their way up the solo lanes of anyone's legend in a 2v5. And they survive. Allah, he's by himself left out to dry. He's going to burn the flash. And he is going down. So ends the Baron push of anyone's legend. LNG find the pick onto Croco. It's amusing about how much damage Croco can do with all these percent increases. Hey, the fight yeah. Shows. yeah. I think that's the most difficult part is you can like see how much fighting strength the individual pieces for anyone's legend have. But we can't even talk about that much more because uh, there's another to be started by LNG though they want to force the hand. Kyle has flash, is not on vision right now. Can he get the flank which ends the game? 
Croco has so much poke damage here. Here comes Kyle. Big five man Magnet Storm there, but they're going to get all the damage into Zika here. You got to be careful as LNG are repositioning. They're splitting the fight and they're playing to their strengths as they take down AL. They lose Kyle, at least on anyone's legend side, so they don't have a big front line anymore. And AL, they forget what the cop wants to do. They see the five man engage angle, but it doesn't work. LNG goes straight back towards the Baron. Hong wants it. Croco doesn't have his form anymore, and Scout has come to town. Croco trying to get away. Wait, wait, go with gold, and look at Hope. He's stepping up to the plate here. Allah, he's gone a little deep. Zika has found hope, but is it going to be enough? The slowdown is getting him out of there. Gala, a little bit indecisive. He wants to try to follow up. Zika will make it out of there. God, that fight was so back and forth. And I love yeah, this game. Bloom comes through for a block after that. Gives some healing <laughs> if back. If it and... don't work, do, do it again. Back to, go back towards that Baron. Croco is altered onto the Baron. I try to get as much damage. Oh my god, Scout, he's in there by himself, in there like swimwear. LNG are turning back around and the other two members of AL. Scout is out of there. Another Baron goes the way of anyone's legend. They just have to get these buffs out of there, and they do. This time they do actually Game get... one, as we have almost full item spikes for every AL, are just forcing it straight up the gut here. They just want to go straight for the Nexus here, it seems, as they still have the Baron buff. Cover it up for them, but they will just push into the end hip and back away. They just can't be caught a little bit too overextended. Gala, he's looking Why to hover for a Mega Inferno there? Bomb. Why are you there, Gala? All right, uh, that could be a bit dangerous. Has he been seen? I don't know. He's on a weird flank right now. Can he get a chunk out? It's only a little bit. Gets himself the... Uh, Grubs, I think. Oh, no, the, he the got it. He he got gets it. the scuttle crab. That's kind of important. Now, can he survive the rest of the fight? LG, oh, the they don't know. HP. Um, Dragon's going down. It's just going to get burned. Yeah, I mean, they're just going at it. 20% more damage done by Croco in front of those dragons. And now we'll see Croco starting up the Baron here. Does have Ala on his side, but LNG are going to move in to push them out of this one. Just trying to pull the temperament of LNG. They're going to TP on the back with Ala. LNG are the ones that just started up. Enchanted Crystal are going to hit the front line. Zika going to block a lot of that. Croco on the other side. Massive damage on the Gala. Look at Ala. He's on the big flank. He might be the death knell here. Kyle goes in. Gala's gone. AL. They're picking them apart one by one. The refight by LNG is looking good though. Scout still alive. Hope has just been guarding out LNG the whole time. And the dragon's roar can be heard from Croco as the legends do become legendary. It's one body left and that's right into the body bag for scout as anyone's legend had pulled it through anyone's legend with lost streak be damned lng top of the table does not matter to them they pull out the shivana but honestly this game is a bit of a shivana diff croco catches out gala enough to put them into contention and put themselves into the game win it's been back to back two zero losses it's been a tough schedule, but anyone's legend, they're not ones to back down from a fight. And they Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LPL matchup. In the case we had, you know, Ki Kiana Camille, uh, big carries. <laughs> when you have stuff like the Sejuani Ivan, you really are playing for your teammates. You have to um, have this conversation back and forth between who can move and make sure that you are supporting them. Shanks hovering on bot side while well, anyone's legend take the dragon. The grubs are going to be started sure up. Cakes, by... they, go, they go rock hard. So, like, that, that, that's the worst one for them. As uh, Zucker, he might be more easy pickings in this top side. He has no flash this time. Oh, he's going to use the equalizer on the wave. Try to clear it down. It's not going to be fast enough. And he is just cooked under his own turret. Croco almost going down there. But that's first blood for anyone's legend. Now, because uh, Croco and Kyle off vision. There's the drifting. They got the quickness combo there and the granites. Oh my god, Zika's just in a bounce house and it's not for a birthday party, it's for his death. LNG, slow it to the point. Dragon being started by AL. Not sure there's going to be a huge contest from LNG. Gull is not in position just yet. Already uh, further down than half health here. It might be a spike fight though. Croco not willing to go capitalize on this one. It's going to be pushed out at the end. And now Croco is getting locked down too. They actually have to fight on the other side though. Scout in some trouble as now he jumps away. Shakes is going out with his own flash, but now he might be going out in his own body bag too. Zika helps get it, but it's going to be Gala that secures the kills in LNG. They're streaming forward. They've already gotten two kills for Gala, but he's not back in this fight just yet. Ala by himself now over here on the other side of the fight trying to get a pull down onto Hung. He's going to try to get his Q3 knockback. He's in trouble now. Curtain call going to be opened up, but is it going to be in time? Ala able to dash away. The equalizer going to be used in the end by Zika.
Oh, I thought that Isle of Reuse's W just before that in the Daisy had cancelled. It might have just been the footwork dash that was cancelled. So Isle oh, gets out. Shax is going to trade for um, some pressure on that tower on the other side of the map. And mid lane is getting a lot of gold. Just where you want it. Into the Tristana of this composition. Be pretty stable as we move forward to LNG Siege on mid lane. Looking for an outer tower here. Maybe a bit of a response coming in as oh, Kyle, Kyle is in trouble. Let's have the dash out, but he's burning, and there you go. Tick, tick, boom. Hong comes up with the kill. Curtain call. That's not going to be nearly enough to pick up anything there as a turret does go down for anyone's legend on top side. Croco might be caught out and transitioned here, but the uh, Rift Herald did end up getting used. They are going to get a charge on Tier 2 as well. Yeah, are they going to overstay this? I think they might have stayed a bit too far. Kyle's not here. I was wondering if Weiwei could come up. There's not going to be a teleport just yet. I was wondering if uh, um, Scout would come to join that party, but nope, not to be. I helped it. We all talked about how much the uh, centralized damage position is that mid lane for Shanks. And he looked to contest. This would be a sole point for AL. They actually four scout away there, though. Shanks going to heal up a bit. They go for the engage. Hung going to burn his flash at least to get out of that one. Re-engage with the solar flare. Going to go a bit wide there, though. Turret is being taken to the side. They're going to get the TP coming in from Zika. Dragon is the focus for anyone's legend. This would be Soul Point and Infernal Soul. Gala, he's going to burn that Feather Storm. Going to try to get the big Blade Collar, too. They're blocking them out, but the Equalizer, they are getting blocked out themselves now. The what? Dragon goes to none other than Gala. Here comes the Fade Seal from Shakes. He's the damage, but he's gone. And now LNG, they need to pick up the scraps, but look at Hope. He's popping off now, too, and two kills have gone the way of all as well hope still full health hope with the dancing grenade up there as well double kill goes to them and al out of nothing make miracles lg get the dragon but they lose the fight gal is not he gonna get no all going down oh he's getting one back though that's huge but fourth shots the charm and hope he has three kills now to match gala and they're going to get themselves, maybe this mid lane out of turret too. So AL get, get themselves a whole load of kills. They don't get themselves soul point, but they get themselves a lot of gold. Again, once again, LNG, their team fights are looking really, really... Is now going towards top side. There might be a teleport coming in. There was a ward drop. Frick, Ala. Threes are in suit. Could potentially go towards that one, taking the bot lane turret instead. And the fight's not been called just yet. Might have to come right now, though. Hung goes in. Shanks, he's looking for a little bit of extra damage there. Nothing else going to come of it. No TP pulled. Ala staying in the side lane, trying to push this one down and do a tier two. LNG, they were trying to get some tools. Last Infernal Dragon, but AL, they are putting this one down. The TP going to come in. It's a little bit late. Hung trying to get over here for an engage. Weiwei is not going to be in the pit for the Dragon. Afterwards, though, Daisy is tanking up a storm, but about to go down as well. Hope going to burn some shots into it. There's the Glacial Prison used. Scout. Buffering it out beautifully now. Re-engage. Oh, looking for a big fate seal, but is it going to be just the pick out? Re-engage with the great entrance. There's that fate seal, but it's not going to be enough. The satchel, the, that's actually explosive charge there, Gala. rather. Gala doesn't end up getting the big blade collar. AL make it out after flashing. They do lose Shanks. Safe. and it They have those second item spikes themselves. Daisy coming back into the fold. It's a 6v5, but the Baron getting low. See who's going to go in for the smite. Is it going to be a 50-50? They go for the fight, though. Here comes Shanks. Glacial Prison goes a little bit wide. AL, they need to back out of this one. This is a front-to-back that they are losing. They as we said, the they get it, and that's 4,000 on the Baron. That is anyone's legend. Losing control, Croco. He needs to save them, but he's not even going to try. An LNG move in, clear out, and that's a Baron. Think back to that LGD series. Now on the Siege into the Tier 2 in mid lane. Already going to claim that gold. They still have Baron buff for another two minutes. The side lane is starting to push a little bit there, too. They already have Scout and Bot lane. It's looking like a full court press here, but anyone's legend. They want to oh, collapse a little up. bit. This is a pretty good fight for anyone's legend. The curtain call is going to be doing a decent amount of spacing here. Zika gets oh. sniped by Hope. And now they get the engaged by Daisy there in the end, using that tool very well. Hope still functioning here, but the Baron siege is going to continue, and they do get ending up uh, a little bit of gold back for AL. Man, the last couple of fights, the value which Weiwei has brought has been absolutely absurd. The redemption very nearly saved Zucker. It did save Hung in that last dragon fight. Get side lane gold, get themselves that um, extra gold onto Shanks, who's going to go towards this inner turret and take that one down. That dragon being taken over there. Going to be a nice time buy, at least for the A little bit of that energy from the crowd here for this game number two. We'll bring it back as a very important series for them. Try to lock okay. top Split two. Up. Huh? They have Shanks over there. Scout jumps out. Oh, no. 
Kyle just trying to get away from Harm's breath does take the explosive. But I think now without the Yonil, I think LNG feel pretty happy, don't they? Daisy's up, they can go towards that Baron, and a lot of the backline access just went. Yeah, I think this is the go button with Shanks falling out of position. I think a lot of the backline access went with it. Look at Zika, he's staving off the entrance of AL. Croco in the back of the pit. There's never been a bigger chance to go for a 50-50. He's not going to get it. Gala denies him. Now he's just dead in the pit, too. Scout jumping all over AL. Hope is just a poor little gin in a Tristana's world now, too. Shanks going in by himself. It's a double kill over to Gala. And LNG, the chillin' has awoken from its sleep. And they will not go quietly into AL. That's a quadra kill for Gala. The feathers fly and LNG will bring us back to one and one. It was a bit slower again. AL cannot match their performance from game one. No Shivana to save them this time as LNG march towards the base. It's their home arena. It's them on the cusp of locking top two with a bye in their eyes. And they need this win over AL. Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LPL matchup. Overdrive mode where they can start clearing away faster than any other champion in the game, so if Weiwei gets, gets himself in the takeaway and he might be looking for a dive here, that can definitely help the early game. Doesn't have Meganar, has a massive wave, does get the flash out, he just moves around LNG, and now they're going to try to re-dive here. The turret is going to be coming down on a Weiwei, but it's not going to be enough first blood to LNG. Yeah, I used the flash. It's a good initial dive out while he was still alive. That could have absolutely been a wasted smite. Grokka was very, very lucky to get away um, with that first one. It could have been too very easily picked up by from LNG if I read that situation correctly. No big fights happening in the game just yet. We might have another oh, arrow to mid lane. Hope the marksman, and he gets the lockdown on the scout, and you're gonna be reckoning that friendship. Kyle okay. just making sure with the flash. He has the hex flash bit, so. Just uh, putting hurt where it hurts the most into the heart of LNG at this point in Scout. If he's not so, uh, that will be very important, particularly for the Nar. Nar is typically a very uh, good turret hitter. Some big solo lanes that which can go powerfully after this point. Kyle hex flashing forwards. Arrow coming oh, through. Oh wait, wait! He can't get out. He does use that really nice cease and desist, but it doesn't matter because Allah just shoves his head into the wall. Yeah, wait, wait, no flash. He stands next to the wall and is lined up to be taken down. Get a load of plates. That would have been better for them. Give up that dragon. It would have been okay. Now suddenly, LNG are going to have to buy some time. Wait for that teleport to come through from the Azir. Allah stacking up the Meganar on the bot side, trying to get another plate too before they go down. There's going to be the TP in here, but the dragon secured by LNG. Right. So it'll be a Mountain Soul, but they get two in a row. Okay, so that is at least that, that, that dragon going over to... LNG and that gets him into a good More point. More importantly, so that equalizer for Zika just waiting to lay down the red carpet. Krako circling with the swirl seeds, was maybe looking for an angle for the little thing. Lullaby Shanks is collapsing now. Here comes that lullaby, sing it sweetly as Scout gets completely collapsed on by Kyle. Hung, he has the unbreakable, but it will be broken and his will shattered as AL swoop in and find the fight. Oh, oh, oh Gala. <laughs> I thought that was going to be so much oh, more. Oh no! Oh. Hope overextends. Wait, wait, still at cease and assist, but the barrier, it saves the damage. Kyle was looking for a re engage there, too. Both ADCs going neck and neck. That was so, so far. Oh. Even though he's on the Azir, which he's made a lot of huge game wins on for his teams across the last uh, year or two, he's just not been it in this game. Azir comes through. It's going to make things a fair amount more difficult for AL. That's another arrow. Oh, it's on target God. again! He can't miss, dude! It's actually insane, and this was all foreshadowed from game number one. He literally it's was so easily now. Five grubs in the sideline. Shanks can get himself that out of the And LNG, they are a team which loves playing through, um, getting gold in sidelines from their solo laners like this. Fog of War again. Gotta keep watch where Ar Hope's arrow is gonna land if anyone's legend could keep that hope up. About half health on this dragon. Zika getting the heat up. Allah has the Meganar go at a couple bars to keep an eye on here, but AL are going to move in because they have Meganar available to them. It's going to be about 3,000 health. Weiwei circling around the edge, maybe trying to find an entrance in. Dragon's going to be denied by LNG. Kyle is going to flash away, re-engage by Allah. Here comes Weiwei, tries to get the flash play. They try to get shakes, but they can't do it just yet. Finally, the bird comes through. Lilting Lullaby a little bit late by Croco Does deny Weiwei from continuing, but Gala gets the step up here with the arcane shift. Dragon denied against LNG, but they do end up sticking a fight. Oh, Gala tries to Q flash at the end. Hope with a body body block. Gala very nearly gets himself that Q flash and ends up being 
Bit of an even trade, teleport on the top side. Scout once again being focused down in side lane. Will the Sun Disc be bright enough to save the day? A couple TPs coming in and that big Zanya's moment there. Hope coming around the edge. Scout, he Scout. gets the three man shuffle. We've been waiting for him to show up and he might've just set the trend as he does end up going down. It does end up in a double kill for the play man. For them, they, they use that one play yeah. top lane, but Scout gets that shuffle to just bring things back into a point where they can start calling the shots a little bit more, at least have options. They open up that map. Gold power for anyone's yeah. legend coming into this one. Not much of a lead, but something to work off of. Hope always looking to pick somebody out. You have to think about top lane, how the TP is going to affect this one. Dragon already started up, but AL, they're kind of willing to let this one be tanked up by LNG. Kael, he's on the corner. They're going to get the TP in. Ala has not committed just yet as True Shot Barrage comes across. Croco trying to get the pit. It's going to go the way of Weiwei. Wei. They get the Mountain Soul. Kael goes wide with the engage. Ala has joy, but he's not even Meganar now. And there's the oh. big sweep and a shuffle from Scout. The TP to mid lane. LNG are done with this one. They want to put the nail in the coffin here. Weiwei Wei will be given his own coffin, but it's LNG that find the fight, find the soul, and now they're pushing in mid lane. LNG, it is methodical, it is slow, but you can't deny its effectiveness. LNG stabilized through Scout Shuffling's hopside, and honestly, this feels like it's over except for the Cryer. So now they would have liked to get themselves um, a win here to end their lost streak. They did, they do have that three uh, wins in the columns. They will be getting through into playoffs all the same, but that seeding might be harder. Zucker, Zonius is the arrow. That's actually really big to buy time there because they were looking for a full-on engage on the back of that one. Now the cooldown going to be pretty short there, but they won't have it for a little while. Anyone's legend getting antsy in the mid lane. The scout once again in the sidelines. Puts up that Sunder, starting to push things out. He doesn't have the teleport. Um, he might need to recall soon, though. There was a chance that there would be um, a rotation up towards top side. But he gets himself the sun disc up so he can keep Paying respect up. to the Fog of War this time and going back to pushing lanes. They're very much under vision here. As the LNG stopped their backs a bit. Wait, wait, is hovering around the other side too. The Mountain Soul makes it so difficult for any of this poke or anything to uh, really True. stick. And it makes it that much more hard for AL. And you can see the AL are just searching for answers. They're searching to make something give in this game. And it's centered around the Baron. Scouts teleporting in. The Drab Baron might be gone, but will they survive the fight? It's a make or break moment here. Big True Shot Barrage from Gala. Scout on the other side waiting for it. Weiwei goes in here. They got the equalizer into the choke point. The bear is not even the focus. The bear goes to Weiwei anyways. And LNG, they're looking at a clean ace right now. Hope is no longer existent as another quadra kill comes through for Gala. And they've done their business. They did what they needed to do. And they are pushing the base of anyone's legend to guarantee themselves a top two finish. A guardian angel descends. In this arena for LNG, they will secure themselves top two going into playoffs and seeding, and AL will have to wait another day to break their loss streak. It might be the last series for LNG, but they showed us what they can be at their highest high in this last game, at least. Able to pull it out and scout. These were the best highlights from today's LPL matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say. Okay. See you on the next one.